learn from being broke. We well, can, you can, uh, we can, we will take that. <laughs> learn from being broke. <clears throat> he will be evaluated by Toastmaster Glenda. Friends and fellow Toastmasters, please put your hands together and help me welcome with a warm round of applause. Cindy Palaroan. Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening, guests. And good evening, the followers. I'm Benjamin S. Palaroan Jr., your speaker for today. Guys, do you experience that you have no money in your pocket? Every day. <laughs> Good. Do you have a feeling that when you put your hand in your pocket, you can't get any money? And you're broke. Even when you do your own business, never sell any product. Did you experience that? Yes. And the humiliation of your friends and your loved ones, they said, you cannot do it. You cannot be successful to your plan. And I was it hurts so much to face this reality because when I started doing my business I'm so proud of myself because I'm prepared prepared to fail because I'm so very stubborn and very out. Because I read books of business and I watch movies of successful entrepreneurs for successful people, I can emulate them and be successful like them. In reality, it's not. <clears throat> Tell me why. Why? Why? Awesome. Because you will fail. You will fail repeatedly in every transaction, in every sell stock, in every meeting. Because you didn't know what the skill to doing business. What I learned in my failures in business. In doing business, doing sales, is first develop your selling skills. Selling skills will never be learned in school. You have to learn it in the field because you have to talk with different people. I thought when I read the book, I have to follow the step-by-step -step procedure of the book. But not yet. It's not the case. You have to talk to the person and understand their problem and solve the problem to get perfect. And that is one thing I didn't know. So I lost a sale in a minute. Second, when I have Two meetings, I'm late. I'm late for 30 minutes, even an hour, because I did not respect the time of others, because I didn't have no discipline. Because I'm still on my comfort zone. I did not know, I did not know the word of discipline in Greek. Because I'm so easy to lucky person. I have a saving for one year. But I'm still so easy to lucky. I have no goals. 
at the time and no aim for a higher target for my business. I just, oh, I go with the flow with people. I go with the flow with, ah, I go with the flow with the entrepreneur. He's, a, he's successful and I'll be successful. But not, I'm dreaming. And the third thing I learned from my failure, being broke, if you don't have money, you will realize the value of money in your pocket. It's so hard because the humiliation and your parents will tell you, you're a stubborn guy. And even my dad told me to get out of the house and don't go back. I slept with other uh, I slept with other people's room because of my stubbornness and my pride. So it hurts so much. Because of my stubbornness and my pride for myself, because I want to be an entrepreneur, but I don't have now the money. Imagine, I cannot pay even the 750 um, payment in Jeepney. I I do the one two three strategy. Do you know the one two three strategy? Yes. <laughs> In, in the jeepney? Yes! <laughs> when, when somebody want to pay papamasahe or pay naman ng jeepney pamasahe I get the pamasahe bayad <laughs> then para I want to pay <laughs> so that's a strategy even I do the cutting trip strategy I'm just saying to the bus that I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> no, not in the toilet. Uh, I'll go, my car is going to Kubao, but I'll say, uh, I have to go to, only to Hispania. So, it's a different for the price, right? <clears throat> so, it's cheap. Imagine that I have a meeting in Kubao, and I will say that, then I have, then I dress like a successful person, but I'm broke. Imagine that, guys. So hard. And for when my friend told me, you're so foolish, take down your pride and learn to your mistakes. Then I go back to my work and say sorry to my parents. That is pretty me. I will not do it again. But I will not quit to my dreams. When I'm driving a well, while well back here in Commonwealth, it's so very traffic. I listened to a story of a reward, and she, she and he said that if there is no struggle, there are no progress. And that I learned that hope because I have so many struggles. I did not have so many struggles. I never give up. I talked to many friends about it, and I learned from those struggles. Fellow masters, I hope you learn from this speech. Have a great day, and good evening. Thank you so much for watching. See you again on my next video.